Welcome back to another Inspirial tutorial. Today we are going to dive into the incredible capabilities of ChatGPT to create stunning PowerPoint presentations in just minutes. Join us as we explore the features of ChatGTP that make it a powerful tool for content creation. Step by step on how to use proper prompts in ChatGTP and generate a structured PowerPoint outline. Real-time examples showcasing the efficiency of using ChatGTP for creating engaging slides. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the knowledge to create effective presentations quickly and efficiently, saving you time and effort. Don't miss out on this game-changing approach to presentation design. Before we start this tutorial, let's take a look at the AI tool we are going to use to generate our PowerPoint script. The AI tool we are going to use is ChatGPT4. This tool is free, but the version we will use is a subscription. I use this version because unlike the free version, this version will create graphics and AI photos. We are going to use this tool to create a complete presentation. Normally in PowerPoint, when designing a presentation, a good practice is to create your outline of the presentation first. In PowerPoint, simply move to the view, then choose Outline View to see your outline. We are going to use a prompt to have ChatGPT create us an outline. What is a prompt? A prompt is an input that the user feeds to an AI system in order to get a desired results or output. A copy of the prompts we are using in this tutorial are in the summary below. You can use prompts to create your own PowerPoint presentations. Let's read the first prompt. You are an expert in travel. First, write an outline for a PowerPoint presentation covering a three-day trip to the Florida Key. The top 10 things to do. Make it 11 slides. For slide one, give me a title and subtitle. Be upbeat. Let's see how well ChatGPT does in creating our outline. The title slide, Your Guide to Sun, Sea, and Spectacular Memories. Slide 2, Introduction to the Florida Keys. Day 1. Day 2. Day 3. Slide 9, Top Travel Tips for the Florida Keys. Slide 10 is a recap. And slide 11, Questions and Answers. Now we're going to put our AI outline into PowerPoint. First, we are going to import the information from ChatGPT into Word. Let's copy Control C the response in Chat GPT and paste Control V into a new Word document. Make sure you save the document as a text file, not a doc file. We're going to have to clean up our document a little bit, so we're going to have to get rid of the slide title and we're going to get rid of all these slide everything that says slide numbers and anything uh, that's before the colon so in order to save time i went ahead and already cleaned up this document now open a new powerpoint Move to the Home tab on the ribbon. Click on it. Under New Slide, hit the arrow. And now it opens up another window. We want to move to the bottom where it says Slides from Outlines. Now all we do is select our file. And now we have our outline. And by the way, if you don't see the outline, just go over to the View tab. Click on that, go to Outline View, and now we have our outline. So let's clean it up a little bit. We're going to get rid of the word title here. We're going to Three Days Paradise. We want this as a text or subtitle. And so we're going to get rid of that word. Click this. 
control X and make it easy. We'll just bring it in here. And now we see up above where we have our title and we have our slide. Now, if you notice, it brought in everything. And so what we have to do in order to make it work, we have to come down here. We have a slide title here. And then where we have the text, we simply tab in. And you see over here where it brings it in. So we can do that really quick. Like for example, here we have one we don't need, where we'll get rid of it. Day one, and we go down here to the Active Explorer, activity, get rid of the test blank slide. And I'll go ahead and clean this all up. Now that this has all been cleaned up, you can see we have 11 slides. And all I did was tab in on each of these text or subtext. The great thing about doing the outline first is it allows you to go in and edit things quickly and easily before you actually start building the slides. And if you wish, you can go back over to view again and go back to normal. Click on normal and now you can see all your slides and you can move through the slides real quick and see what all of them look like. Before we go any further with this tutorial, I know some of you know a lot about AI tools and some of you are quite new to using the tools. For those who are new, when using tools like ChatGPT4, you need to decide how much you're going to use the AI on your project. For example, I can quickly and easily finish this presentation by myself. Maybe even use PowerPoint's AI designer tools to help me. I like using AI to help my creativity, but not limit my creativity by using AI. Now, AI can give you a lot of great ideas you never thought of and help your creativity. But relying totally on AI sometimes gives your project that, well, looks like AI. Use AI as an aid or a tool, but don't leave your project totally in AI's hands. Using our existing conversation, let's add the following prompt because I'd like to add some speaker notes Add it to each slide. So let's try this prompt. Let's read the prompt. You are doing a great job. It would help if you gave me speaker notes in the notes below each slide. Make notes about the information on the slide. When possible, make the notes three to five paragraphs long. Stay upbeat and informative. Give me recommendations for font style, text size, and text color. When we move to the top of the results, we see the font style recommendations AI has given us. Let's read them. Font style, use Arial or Calibri for a modern clean look. Title font size, 44 to 50. Subtitle, 32 to 36. Body text font, 24 to 28 points. And also tells us the color, dark navy for titles and headings, charcoal and dark gray for body. So it did a good job. If we look at slide one, our title slide, we have speaker notes. Notice being the first slide, the note is an introduction to our PowerPoint presentation. Let's read a couple lines. Welcome everybody. Today, we're diving into the unforgettable adventure through the stunning Florida Keys. In just three days, you can experience some of the best the Keys have to offer. Every presentation needs great images. Our next prompt is to have AI recommend search ideas for images. The prompt reads, suggest any images to be included in the slides to enhance the visual appeal. Provide also the Bing image creator prompts for the images you suggested. And here's the results. Let's read slide one, Florida Keys Adventure Three Days in Paradise. Image suggestion, a vibrant aerial shot of the Florida Keys showing the turquoise waters and islands stretching along the overseas highway. The prompt, a high resolution aerial view of the Florida Keys featuring turquoise ocean waters, tropical islands connected by the scenic overseas highway under a bright blue sky with scattered clouds. 
We can use the prompts of images AI created to find images on other sites like Bing, Image Creator, Adobe Stock, and others. Here we have an example of one of 12 that I found on Adobe Stock. Now keep in mind, these prompts work best in stock programs that utilize AI in their search engine. Now what happens if we have AI create images? Using your vast knowledge base, give me a recommended concept image for each slide using AI to generate the image. Here we can see where AI has created an image based on the first prompt that we gave them about creating images and creating prompts for images. An underwater view of the ocean. A nice little sunset from a restaurant. A fun view from Robbie's Marina. Kayaking down many of the waterways in the area. And one of the unique homes in the area. Street concert. The items you might expect to take to the Florida Keys. The next picture is a collage of different activities and locations. The last two photos we have are for our last slide to thank people. One other item I'd like to add is copyright. You want to check for any issues with sources and copyright information and photos. So our prompt's going to read, great job. Now list any sources or copyright information I should know about the information provided. At the top, it says the content and images I provided are original generated specifically for this presentation. Here are some general guidelines regarding sources and copyright information. Here it says the concept images generated by AI or DAL-E are free from external copyrights or third party content as they are created specifically for the purpose and are safe to use in presentations. Then if we go down to item number three, it discusses best practices for travel presentations. Let's tell AI it did a great job. This has been a long video, but let's take a quick look at the PowerPoint presentation, at least the first three slides that we created. Here we have our AI graphic of the Florida Keys and the highway that we asked about. Then we go to the second slide, which was the introduction to the Florida Keys. And we have this, once again, map from, by AI on uh, the Florida southern coast and the Florida Keys at the bottom. It says, brief overview of the Florida Keys and why it's a must-visit destination. Quick itinerary preview of three days. Now we can move on to our last slide that we're going to look at is day one, exploring the Keys. Activity number one, John Penn Camp, Coral Reef State Park, snorkeling, diving, and underwater wonderland. Activity two, the African Queen Canal Cruise. History meets adventure on this classic boat ride. I'd actually have another slide here for that one. Thanks for joining me on this journey to create a stunning PowerPoint presentation in just minutes using ChatGPT. And if you want to learn more tips and tricks on how to use ChatGPT to create visual basic applications, VBA to create PowerPoint presentations, check out our part two video.